<laughs> Hello, we are in our last few days here in Sofia, Bulgaria and we decided to go try some more traditional Bulgarian food. So right now we are heading to one of the most recommended places here in Sofia, a restaurant called Haji Draganov's Houses. As usual, Gustavo is going to be in charge of trying whatever meat dishes he feels mm -hmm. like. And I'll be doing my best to find traditional Bulgarian food that's vegan, which will be interesting. But I've actually had better luck with that here than I expected. So, here we go. restaurant and we just ordered our meals. For our appetizers we're going to be having two, an eggplant one and one with roasted peppers which we see all over the place. For a main dish I ordered beans in a clay pot, that's what it was called, and grilled vegetables. And I ordered a pork dish, it's called catino meze. It's pork and mushrooms, onions and some peppers. And to drink I got their house-made wormwood wine which I had the last time we came here and I wish I could describe what it's like. It's not what you would think when you think of wine. It's really good though, super distinctive, and if you come here, you absolutely have to try it. When we went on the food tour here in Sofia, which again, you also have to do, it's amazing and free except for the tip, we learned that in Bulgaria, eating raw garlic is a thing, which I'm kind of jealous that I didn't grow up doing because garlic is amazing, but my palate is not at all accustomed to just eating it raw by the clove. But on the table here, they actually have raw garlic just ready for you to eat. with garlic and dill and those I would say are the two seasonings that I've experienced being used the most here it seems like everything is made with garlic and dill and with these peppers it works really well they're nice and sweet and the garlic is just a tiny bit spicy and the dill really brings out the flavors So this is an appetizer based on eggplant too and it's similar to the ones we had in Morocco, the Zalouk only that this one is served cold but it's still as good as I think the difference between the two dishes is that this one is a little bit more mushed together you can't really tell what's in there apart it's almost like one single delicious paste <laughs> You might remember that when we were in Paris last month, I was frustrated because the only way to get vegan food, it seemed like, was to go to a specific vegan or vegetarian restaurant. Elsewhere, most of the salads came with meat, or at least cheese and eggs, so even salad wasn't a safe bet. So immediately following that experience, having this plate of grilled vegetables, which is pretty simple and straightforward, makes me unbelievably happy. It's so nice to just be able to go to a general restaurant and have just a plate of vegetables. On this grilled veggies plate, you can see there's squash, carrots, mushrooms, bell peppers, and then I can't tell if this is a different kind of, oh, that's eggplant. Okay, there's eggplant here too. And underneath here is even grilled onions. So there's all sorts of things on that plate. I have to admit that I'm not a fan of carrots and I just cut through this one and it's super crunchy. It feels barely cooked. So I'm not optimistic about this, but I'm trying to go into it with an open mind. I'm still not a fan of carrots themselves, but the spices that they put on here actually made it almost enjoyable to eat that. So I'm really excited to try the other veggies on the grilled veggie plate. 
all of the veggies on here, yes, even the carrots, are actually really good. I have to say though that my favorite is the mushroom. It's really tender and earthy and perfectly cooked and it's amazing. It's really good. Really well seasoned, not too salty. You can taste all kinds of flavors with the pork meat and uh, it's not dry at all it's really good there's some mushrooms here some onions and i think it, some peppers as well it's a nice blend there i love the wooden ladle that they give you to serve these things with I've already confessed that I don't like carrots and I actually have another confession to make which is that we were at this restaurant a week or two ago and I ordered these beans then upon the recommendation of a YouTuber. Thank you so much for that. And I liked them so much that I'm ordering them again. So this is not actually my first time trying these. This will be my second time, but they're worth it for sure. I'm sure Gustavo will agree with this when I say that one of the hard parts of eating plant-based foods is that often you don't feel like you have anything that's really super filling or as my dad would have said, sticks to your ribs. These beans are so much the opposite of that. I feel like if I ate half a bowl of these, I would be full for hours. They're amazingly good and they're in this really rich, thick sauce and they really feel like the perfect meal for a cold winter day when you just want to curl up at home and eat something rich and hearty. Since yogurt is such a huge part of local diet, I decided to try that for dessert. So I ordered the buffalo yogurt with uh, blackberry jam. And uh, according to legends, Bulgarians live longer because of the culture in their yogurt. Okay, let's take a bite. Mm. Mm. This is really good. The jam and the yogurt go really well together and the yogurt is not as sweet. So the sweetness of the jam complements it so well. I really like it. None of the desserts that they had listed here was vegan. So I decided instead of actually having dessert, I would have this Thracian rose liqueur. Since Gustavo is doing the iconic Bulgarian yogurt, I thought I would go with Bulgarian roses. Um, let's see. It smells exactly like perfume. This should be interesting. I also got this dish of ice that I guess goes in it. So let's try this. Here goes. It tastes like perfume. My advice if you come to this restaurant would be stick with the wormwood wine. So that's it for our meal. It was really good. The next country on our list is Thailand and one of the big reasons I'm excited for that is that I love Thai food. But after having eaten at this restaurant a couple times, I think I might actually miss Bulgarian food too. So we hope you enjoyed the video. Let us know in the comments below which of the dishes looked the best for you. My favorite was the beans, just saying. Well, of course my favorite was the one with the meat. So let us know. So give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel. Check out our Instagram where we post daily pictures. And what else? check out our blog and newsletter. And, and we will see you next time. <laughs>